Namaste, good you. Welcome to Cafe Noma and welcome to our reaction to the Darshan Doshi Trio featuring Varija Shri Venugopal. Uh, I remember Varija Shri last time when we reacted to. Very talented. Uh, vocals, music, everything was great. Uh, this time too, uh, the same patron has requested. Uh, same artist, Tom. Let's get started with a new song though, Bandish Blues. This is mainly by the Darshan Doshi Trio. Trio, yeah. So Not, I'm looking uh, at some just combination featuring her. Yeah. So I think it's somebody new totally. Yeah. But, uh, and she'll have a With minor vocalist. role to play in it yeah. uh, as a vocalist, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. It's our first time single take honest reaction to this trio mm -hmm. and uh, quattro. Uh, uh, there are also a couple of other names mentioned in the title of the video, which we can't read over here okay. because it's not showing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But I can, I think there are two other names uh, in this video. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming they have a role to play in the making of the song or in the music itself. Awesome. Um, so um, hopefully they are mentioned uh, properly in the description box of this video. Mm -hmm. That's it for this one. Let's get started. Uh, you can visit our Patreon page to request reactions like this. The link is in the description box below.
Perfect. They take a while to get started. Um, I guess that goes for all Indian classical. Um, it takes a while uh, for musicians to get in the zone and then when you are at the peak from there again to get it down and you know finish it, you have to have the closure as well. So Indian music it starts at a point then it will gradually, gradually, gradually it will reach a peak and then from there they will try to bring it down. So these people take a while to get started uh, for a reaction video mm -hmm. but they do start and then it goes well. Um, here it was uh, more of a you know, fusion of uh, kind of uh, two three styles I would say. Not just one day's western with all the drums and the guitar and bass and everything. Um, plus uh, her uh, classical music um, training uh, and uh, the notes that she sings. Plus the lyrics of the song were more folk um, northern northern India or northern part of India kind of folk so all three of them coming over here amalgamation of all of it that we are listening to it sounded good uh, it looks like a college fest or something like that when this was made uh, yeah uh, good to watch it yeah uh, and listen to it yeah for me the vocals and the guitar work were outstanding yeah I just heard uh, in the same session we heard Jimi Hendrix mm -hmm. Uh, and I an outstanding drummer in that one. Yeah. Here yeah, the outstanding guitar work of this one. The electric uh, guitar guy. Wow, wow, absolutely amazing. Just uh, just goes to show the wonderful talent that is around, but uh, unfortunately doesn't get the uh, credit they deserve at most times. Yeah. This was totally outstanding. The drumming was really good. The guitar work was exceptional, and then of course the vocal artistry of this singer is, is very very difficult for anyone else to uh, anyone else to replicate duplicate or copy you know uh, with most of western music at least the rock and roll genre the pop genre the country music genre it's very easy to replicate or cover artists from there most times most times 99.99 percent .99 of the time it's extremely easy to cover artists from the west if you are if you have some talent as a musician or a singer but what is extremely difficult from someone from the west to do is to sing like this person mm -hmm. you will get millions trying but even one in a million might not be able to do what she did here that is the kind of artistry that artists from this part of the world have but unfortunately because the way they designed the world functions and the way the markets of the music industry are designed, you will not find artists like that too much. You know, there are plenty of artists like that even in Europe. I mean, when you talk about the Scandinavian part of Europe, when you talk about uh, Finland, Iceland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, that belt, Switzerland, little bit of Switzerland. When you talk about France, of course, when you talk about Germany, when you talk about Spain, there are plenty of such vocal artists in that part of the world too, but you will not hear about them. At the world stage, you will not hear about them. In fact, even naming a single one from those countries will be very difficult for the average music listener in the world today. Mm -hmm. But they exist and they are much, much, much more talented than your average Western singer or musician. And that's a fact. You know, so because what she did, you can't do. It's as simple as that. What you do, Almost anyone can do from this part of the world and have done also incredibly well. Uh, the difference between um, classical music, I think, around of the world, if you can talk about any culture or any um, tradition, and uh, modern music is um, modern music is more uh, personality centric of the musician, and uh, classical music is more music centric of its kind or uh, of its own art. And those who learn the classical way. They aren't. They don't have to depend on their personality uh, because the music has to speak first. Their personality can be anything, you know, and that really does not matter. Uh, but what happens in modern music is it's all about the persona of the person and the presence of the person and how well they can perform. They can pull off anything. So it's like magic trick. They, as long as they are able to impress it, it's good enough. But in uh, classical music and the rendition, uh, what uh, the classical music artists do, uh, it's far more difficult because they have to get and they have to justify or you know earnestly uh, 
attempt what they are trying to do and you know uh, uh, do it well uh, it, it cannot be pulled off by this trick or that trick or sheer presence the lyrics seem to be centered centered on uh, of course initially it started with uh, the yeah, classical a music uh, common folk song. practice uh, syllables or phrases or call it what you will but then in her own way she did it and then it went on to i think about welcoming someone home or asking someone it's to come home the beloved that yeah, is coming so so it seemed to be centered around that i couldn't understand most of it because it's a language which i'm not too comfortable with mm. so understanding so i couldn't understand most of it but it seemed to be about around someone coming home or are requesting someone to come home and it was all about that the preparation for that or hoping that this person comes home mm. so yeah definitely i'll hear it a few more times uh, not just for the music but also for the vocal artistry uh, and clearly this guitarist overshadowed the song of jimi hendrix that i heard earlier yeah. the guitar work of this guitarist was quite outstanding much much yeah, much yeah. better than the guitar work of jimi hendrix that i heard in the jimi hendrix song love or confusion mm -hmm. so it was not confusing it was not jarring it was not irritating at times it was smooth as silk as simple as that